Hello, everyone. It is your good friend Jack here, and I'm back again with the Wax Weekly. This time hitting you on a Wednesday, which is just because I'm a little busier towards the end of the week. And then for next week's video, I'll have a big surprise for everyone. So do tune in for that. I don't want to give too much away. And as usual, these videos are sponsored by Wax Cool and EOS Dublin. So thanks for watching. So this week marked the inaugural drop of our Wax Drop and Project Calendar. This is something that we've been trialing a little bit over the last few weeks ourselves in-house. And then obviously we've opened it up to the wider community now. So it's basically just going to fill up where the likes of NFT Insider left off. And we very much want to keep the same trend because we actually really like these graphics that they released on a weekly basis. And we now want to be the ones to contribute this information to the community. So a little shout out to everyone who has drops upcoming on Wax and might see these videos. Or if you know a team or a project behind an upcoming drop, do send them the link for the calendar. It's pinned on our profile in X. And along with that, it, we want to build on this as well in terms of community. So, you know, keep an eye out for potentially having a Discord channel and a Telegram group chat later down the line. So people can also send information into us via those um, channels as well. Taking a little look at this week, there are some slots towards the end of the week that are still very much available, Saturday and Sunday. Again, this is just an example of where your project could feature and then be pushed out weekly by us, included in our blog, included in our vlog. And you can see here there's plenty going on. So let's fire straight into it. That's the graphic Excel itself. That's what they'll look like. So um, yeah, keep an eye out for them on X and or Twitter, whatever you're calling it and uh, soon soon to be featured on, on other social channels as well. As usual, I like to start off by taking a look at what's happened on Wax over the last seven days. And as usual, nothing new or strange to the fold except another Funko project. Taco's ranking high because they've released their game Combs. So I'm sure that's helping out and we will cover a little bit on that in a few minutes. But as usual, Alien Worlds, Wombat, Funko are definitely ruling the roost still with an impressive 1.8 million wax in the last seven days for the Jurassic Park Funkos. Um, we can jump over to that very quickly just to have a little look. And the drop itself obviously was a success for the guys at Funko. Um, partly down to the fact that it's linked to in real life items, which all the, the, the drops and the projects are, which is... Um, Pretty cool. It's a pretty cool feature of them all. You can get limited edition Funko Pop vinyl figures, which I know are highly collectible. There's a whole community behind these. And the, the very rarest one is the Mosquito in Amber, which is actually pretty cool. It's a pretty iconic scene or part of the Jurassic Park franchise. You know, it's basically where it all starts with um the guy who plays the guy in Jurassic Park, Attenborough's brother. And you can see then there's just some cool uh, vinyl figures just to, to to mark some of the more famous characters in the film. Um, you know, Ian Malcolm, Alan Grant, you even have the T-Rex with Banner, which is pretty cool. And then Freddie Funko featuring as Ian Malcolm, I think, as well. Just wanted to touch on that quickly. Back to our drop calendar, we do have the link in our X profile it's pinned to the top you can come on here and leave a comment for where your project is dropping we will add it to the calendar and then it will be featured in our graphic potentially it'll be included in our blog and potentially it'll be included in our weekly video as well so it's a very very for for absolutely no charge whatsoever your project can be shouted about on a weekly basis as you could see by the drop calendar the ape gold coins dropped yesterday i did manage to get my hands on two of them from the primary market at about 100 wax each. Um, I haven't done anything with them. But as you can see here today, they are opening up the, basically where you can, um, sorry, I forget the name, but now you can craft your outer circle. So you can use two ape gold coins and you can rearrange your outer circle of your, of your uh, gold coin. And then tomorrow it'll be modifying the inner circle. And then on Friday, I believe it'll be adjusting the center circle. And you do that with a various number of different recipes building on each other each, each day after the next. So if we scroll on down here, you can see some of the top drops. 
some of the top roles if you go to rankings which is a really nice feature always it'll probably just take a second to load but um if you take a look at each of the coins you can see that they potentially run different conditions so there could be a gold mint you know there could be a poor mint and that's basically just the overall condition of the coin and then it's combined with various gems so a couple of the rare ones here the diamond uh gems and the ones ranking just under that i think it might be ruby or um sapphire that kind of thing all well worth trying to roll for when you're doing your recipes and whatnot but you can see some of the top ones there it's pretty cool and you can see the wallets that are actually holding them as well so congratulations to those holders they've got some pretty good gold and I'm looking forward to seeing how this pans out towards the end of the week. And what I'll do is I'll include an update next week as to how it went. Now, I think this is actually the first page. I think they're going live probably in about six hours. Um, so Outer Circle Alchemy, you can see the instructions here. And all this information is available through their Twitter page, through their Medium articles. And it just gives it quite a, quite a good explanation as what to expect and how it works and what the actual recipe is. And you'll need your, your, your banana and you'll need your astrolabe towards the end of this as well, just to combine and to, to, to re-roll your, your gold for better rolls. So all looks pretty cool. Very cool. Ties in nicely with the whole, uh, wax ape rave club scene. And yeah, definitely one to watch. Moving on. Taco, um, as we mentioned earlier, dropped their game Combs. So Combs is now out and it's playable. Um, I don't actually, or I'm not able to actually play it because I haven't got any of the NFTs yet. I didn't get any in the drop. And I think the um, the fact that you can get some free resources each day is pretty cool, but you can't actually play the game unless you invest in some of the NFTs with some of the prices out of the NFTs being pretty pretty hot at the minute i mean i always look at the wax cost of them um imagining wax to hit a dollar which it might never um excuse me it might never but when you look at it at that price you'd be paying upwards of 200 wax for one of these nfts um which is a bit of a gamble considering i haven't played the game yet and i can only imagine what it would be like but we'll see how it unfolds seems pretty good on the um so far on, on, on some of the different channels, people reporting home and how they're finding the game. Couple of things, because I reached out to the team and uh, the guys at Taco basically said that this is season zero. Um, with the season zero prize, it is 279,000 wax. So you can see it actually here in the corner. Um, and there is the Git book on gameplay and there is actually a YouTube video uh, on the gameplay as well so that is probably the easiest thing to watch and maybe i do need to actually go and watch that to see if there's any ways you can play the game for free or trial the game and um, but until then i will be collecting my free resources daily and keeping an eye on the secondary marketplace to get my hands on some chain fields um, and to get my hands on you know any of the nfts i can at a deal um, but if you are playing the game and you are enjoying it drop a comment below let us know what you think and yeah um, give us some feedback so we can decide whether we want to spend that much wax on the NFTs or not. And last but not least, I am just noticing that there's a little bit of hype building for this Battle Mech Blast game. There's not, in my opinion, a whole lot of centralized information on it, which is fine in our decentral world that we live in. Um, but this is one that I'll be keeping an eye on. This article came out six days ago. I believe they're whitelisting now for you know maybe it's beta access to the game to play the game to get some nfts but it does look very interesting the gameplay looked very interesting it's actually playable it's not a click and collect it's actually a playable game and some of the artwork looks just brilliant you know some of the lore that they're building up as well seems pretty cool so we're excited to get our hands on a play of this one i do have to whitelist and um yeah go from there with it but that featured as probably in and around the number one, it was tight between Combs and this one for our number one slot this week in our blog, which is featured on our page if you haven't seen it already. And it is something you can check out. Yeah, so like that, as always, big shout out to the community, the Wax fam, 
Um, I've noticed that there has been a bit of pickup on the channel, on the, the the pages and stuff like that, with people following and general interest, friendships throughout the community growing. And, you know, it's always fantastic to see. And we want to build on that. So like I said, tune in for next week's video. We'll have a couple more surprises. And until then, everyone have a great week. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you next week for our Wax Weekly. Once again, just to mention, these videos are sponsored by EOS Dublin and Wax School. And just like that, everyone, wax on. <laughs>